Hey guys, welcome back, Andy here. Um, I've got for you here a quick sort of look around, one, for me, one of the most essential apps for any Android device, or anyone that has an Android device that also owns a computer, I suppose, um, although not necessarily that. I'm just waffling now. Let's move on. So, Dropbox. If you don't know what it is, it's basically cloud storage. You get a, um, initially I think it's two gig free online cloud storage for pretty much any file, but there's a whole variety of ways that you can increase that. Um, signing up friends gets you, I forget if it's 500, 500 meg or, or a whole gig now perhaps. Um, I'm up to about 90 odd gig because you get, certain phones will give you 25 gig free or 50 gig free. So I think my S3, I think it gave me 50 gig free and I think the HTC One gave me 23 gig free or something like that. And they stack up, so I'm up to about 96 gig. Anyway, how does it work? Let's show you. So here we are on my phone. Actually, no, let's come to the computer first. So let's just say, for example, here I am browsing away on the XJ developers and I see there's a new kernel for my phone, Perseus Alpha 31.2. So I click that I want to download that. I suppose I should point out I've installed Dropbox on my computer. Um, I have the slowness of my PC. Here we go. So now it opens up. Where, I want to, where do I want to save it? I hope you can see up on the top left there in the favorites, Dropbox automatically appears. So I click Dropbox. These are all my folders stored sort of in the cloud but also synced in real time to my computer. So I'm going to go to Android and I go to ROMs. Um, kernels, you can see a few others already there. So I'm going to click save. So it's saving in there and it's actually already downloaded it. So if I open up my Dropbox folder on the PC again, you can see it's a slightly blue icon there. Well, you can perhaps see because basically I saved and you see it's in ROMs. So all these blue icons, can I zoom in at all on there? So the blue icon, right, now it's gone green, so that basically means it's now uploaded. So that file there that I just downloaded to my PC is now synced to Dropbox um, in the cloud. So, on my phone, Tools, Dropbox, obviously I've got to be logged in on the same account, and then I can see all my folders here like we saw there. They match up. Um, so I want to go to Android... ROMs, kernels, and there we have all the kernels that we just seen. And the one I just downloaded, as you can see, it says there 33 seconds ago. So I can share, I can favorite, I can delete it more. I don't know why I have to go to more to export. That's the most commonly done thing, I, I would have suggest. And I want to save it to my SD card. Um, I don't want it in download. I don't want it there. I want it SD card, clockwork mod, export. Waiting to export. There it comes. Basically, once it's downloaded, I would then boot into Clockwork Mod and flash the kernel. Simple as that. So on Dropbox on your phone, it doesn't sync in real time. So if I upload, if I save a file to my computer, it uploads it to the cloud. It doesn't in real time then download it back to the phone because you know, I've got 92 gig of Dropbox space. I don't, that's not all going to fit on my phone but all the files are available on my phone. Um, so for example, I keep a load of wallpapers in Dropbox and it's just handy that I can go and get them at any time. Um, so really I suppose there's two, there's two massive benefits to Dropbox. One that it stores things for you in the cloud. It doesn't matter if, if my computer crashes and the hard drive goes blip tomorrow, and touch wood it won't, um, everything's stored safely in the cloud for me. Uh, on the PC, Dropbox does sync in real time. So, for example, I've got um, Microsoft Money installed on my computer, and I can I turn that on, and it saves the file in the Dropbox folder. So, if I then go to my laptop, turn it on, run Microsoft Money, it opens it from the Dropbox folder on the laptop, which is kept basically identical to the folder on the computer. So, it doubles up. I can use it anywhere, basically. Um, so that's one benefit that it just you know, stores stuff safe for you in the cloud. And the other one is that it's everything's accessible then whenever you are and wherever you are on your phone. Now the second or the very useful benefit for the for the phone, it can back up all your photos in real time. So I, I take a photo and let's I suppose let's do it now. Um, it's gonna be a really interesting photo of my computer screen. 
Now I'm going to have to move relatively quick before it's all done and dusted. So I go to that tab, uploading photo, one left. So obviously I'm connected via Wi-Fi, so that's going pretty damn quick. It's not quite, there we go. So that's finished, that's uploaded. Now, can you see the blue icon again next to camera uploads just there? Because it's basically the Dropbox has detected there's a new, a new item. So it's got the blue, and there it is. It's on my computer instantly, almost. Again, to me, that's a massive, massive benefit. Um, amongst other things, you know, you, you could take a photo, you might drop your phone in the toilet, your photo safe. You know, if you're on holiday or whatever, they're instantly saved to the Dropbox folder. They're instantly, almost instantly available on my computer, on my laptop, or anywhere else that I've got Dropbox installed. Icon sitting down here in the in the, the taskbar, and there's my folders. Simple as that. So to me, essential app. You can turn off the instant photo upload. You can have it only to do it on Wi-Fi. If you have unlimited data, just leave them on. Be careful if you're taking lots. It will use up quite a bit of battery because of all the uploading. But uh, that's it. So that's Dropbox. Um, there's probably some bits that I've missed and, and I haven't haven't pointed out. It's very easy to send also files the other way from from your phone. Oh, that's not going to work for me. Is it all not working? Um, from your phone, I just do send to as you as you normally can. So I don't know why I even bother trying to. That didn't work last time I used it. Um, send it to Dropbox, select the folder, plink, and off it goes. It uploads it, and it'll be instantly available on my computer as well. So there you go. It's totally free. Dropbox in Google Play. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.